wanted to do a video on um, how shitty online behavior is because any type of online interaction where there's any type of chat, there's always somebody trying to find somebody who's pissed off and then just what I call pull out their micro dicks and start jerking off. So if you play a video game like Dota 2, which is phenomenal, but what kills almost everything online is the fucking community. The communities can be the worst. Like you're playing Dota, right? And one, I, I read a lot of statistics about cheating. I've studied videos on this shit. There's a, a great channel called Dota 2 Tips where they'll take a, a video where somebody's obviously cheating and they'll show you how. So in this game, you can block creeps to slow them down so they're closer to your tower so it's less dangerous to fight underneath it. You'll see the cursor off to the side and they're creep blocking, which you can't do unless you, you got a script for it. There's a lot of cheating online. Apparently in 2019, one in three admitting to admitted to using some kind of cheat program. So that's not necessarily like a, a complete um, set of scripts that make you a god, but it, it could be a help program. Like it gives you information you're not supposed to know. Like it'll keep track of everybody's cooldowns, uh, BKBs. It'll show who's teleporting and where they're going. Uh, there's an extension to the EXP line so you could sit back further and still gain EXP. There's auto hooks. There's cheats for specific characters. I'm finding a lot of uh, Ogre Magis lately have just been absolutely unstoppable. And their their multi chance is not a hundred percent to to cast two three or four times, and you'll find every time the fucking ogres cast, he's getting a double or a triple or a quadruple on every cast. There's a there's a script for that. Treant's another one that is really good, but he's not the guy who kills teams. But a lot of Treants lately are just uncatchable. So there is a lot of cheating that goes on in games, and the most common thing you'll say is okay. After playing video games for so long, what happens is you learn the rules of the game, right? Then you learn what a bad player does, an okay player does, a good player does, a great player does, and a legendary player does. The amount of guys that, through their actions, are telling you they're god-level players isn't possible. There's not this many good Dota 2 players on the planet, but you'll play this game, and it's fucking, you'll lose 10 in a row and get your ass kicked. Now, should you get your ass kicked once in a while? Yes. Uh, should it ever happen 10 times in a row? Never, not once, if everything's on the up and up. So I notice a lot of things. I notice who gets three kills and gets out with three hit points every time. Now, you can do that once in a while. But there's so much chance in this game as in, and I don't mean like random chance, but I mean like you didn't know there was another guy there or something unforeseen happened. Somebody jumped in and, you know, whatever that you can't just go around killing everybody and never get caught. Even if you kill, a, like I play with some very good players, they'll kill a lot, but they can be killed. But you'll play against these motherfuckers that they they just cannot be killed. And they'll just wipe your team and it doesn't even make sense. You're like, you will hit me twice and I exploded and there's no real reason. So I point out a lot of cheating. And what happens is the enemy team are very aloof. It's always lol, what's a script? And then they'll say, I'm not scripting. Like, wait a minute, you just said you don't know what a script is and you're saying I'm not scripting. Uh, so cheaters generally are uh, not very smart. And I'll explain that through a... It was an experiment done in the 80s where they had a child and they gave that child a marshmallow. And they said, if you eat this now, that's all you get. If you wait an hour, I'll give you two. And they found that the kids that ate the marshmallow right away, had problems later in life with addiction, with just struggled with patience, they were quick to anger, all the shit. The kids that waited an hour, they found, had a lot less of that shit. So cheaters are the same thing. They're literally not wanting to play and get good. They just want to download a little program, and they want to embarrass an enemy team and look cool in front of their teammates who they'll probably never see again. It's the same thing as buying like a $500,000 car, You'll drive by, everyone goes, ooh, nice car, and you immediately forget. You don't give a shit. It's just trying to get this little wimpy fucking validation from others, trying to show you're better than others. So you'll see guys just pull the most, like I've never seen pro games where they did half this shit. So I point it out because I pay attention to what everybody does, and you'll notice things like these patterns keep appearing, like they get the first fucking 10 kills every time. And these players are, and this is not my words, there was a Russian ex-pro who did a video on scripting, and he said most, a lot of them come from South America, and I'd be inclined to agree, because they haven't had computers for 40 years, like somebody up here has, or whatever. 
I've been playing video games since I was four. I'm 43, so that's 39 years of experience dealing with video games. And then when I got my own computer, I mean, everything. I can download anything on that thing. And you get these guys who they go to um, internet cafes because they can't afford their own computer. And if they cheat and they get banned, their IP address or whatever, they'll just get up and go to the computer right next door and do it all over again. They don't give a fuck. So it's it's annoying to me that a place that is like they're, they're very poor, very poor down there. They're the best Dota players in the world, really. Well, how come they don't have a pro team? Oh wait, they did, and they got caught cheating. And they didn't get caught cheating using scripts. They were fucking with the lineup in a way that's against the rules, and they got banned. So I don't like playing against Russians because I find a lot of Russians cheat too. There's a lot of cheaters from all around the world, but I find it's mainly Russians and it's um, South Americans. Uh, so I guess this is a two-part video. I'm going to do on cheating, and then I'm going to do one on trolls, because trolls to me are literally the fucking worst, and I run circles around them every time because they're not very smart. So as soon as you accuse somebody of cheating, the other team says, lol, what's a script, and then I'm not scripting, and then your team will often go, lol, there's no cheats in Dota. So you, um, this hypothetical person that I've talked to 10,000 times, you think there's no cheating. How much research have you done? And they go, none. So you just assume there's no cheating because you've never looked at it. You don't know what to look for. And then they automatically start making fun of your intelligence. So answer me this fucking genius. Why is it when you go to the report section, there is one for uh, fishy casting. Um, there's one for uh, scripts, bots, whatever. Why is that there then if there's no cheating? And then they'll go, well, cheating is so... No, one in three people admitted to cheating. And I'm going to stick to that. It might have changed since. Also, COVID... Turn, like there was a, a specific article on how uh, in during COVID times, all these scripters, they generally um, worked on this on the weekends or days off or whatever. All of a sudden COVID happens and they're off 24 hours a day. So then they did nothing but work on their cheating. And they were saying across many, oops, sorry, many platforms. And this is Call of Duty. This is any online competitive anything that the uh, amount of cheaters are catching is just exponentially much larger. So I don't trust anybody online. I've actually reported friends that I thought were cheating and didn't get, they didn't, they came back negative. So maybe they were just having a fantastic game. That happens. But the amount of times that happens, and here's what pisses me off. Dota 9.5 out of 10 games is, is two options. They either kick the fuck out of us or they kick the fuck out of us and we manage a comeback. And my friends go, well, I don't know if that's, it. why is it we're always trying to, like, it's always, how do we stop them from running over us? They're never afraid of us. They just run us over. That's always the question. It's never, okay, guys, let's get on the offensive. It's always like, these guys are cleaning our clocks. How do we stop dying so much? Every game. So I have a couple of um, analogies. So imagine you're in pickup basketball, you and four other dudes, and on the other team, there's five dudes. And, you know, we're accountants. We're bricklayers. We've all played basketball in high school. We're all pretty good. We're not, you know, professionals or anything, but we play well. And all five of them are Michael Jordan. And then you go to play another game of pickup basketball. And, oh, sorry, all five of them are also Michael Jordan. No, that's not possible. You know what I mean? Like, I know exactly, of all the great players I play with, there's literally one guy who could make pro. And he is a fucking monster. So that's it. There's, there's not this many pros in the world. There cannot be. And then you're like, well, if you're this good, why wouldn't you go play in the pros? And they always have these fucking cheap... Uh, bullshit excuses that I can just swat away. Like, well, you know, well, I'm not that good. Okay, you just went 18 and 0 and uh, didn't take any damage the whole time, and you knew where we were at all times. I watch a lot of replays where there's no uh, wards or anything. So anyway, I accuse them of cheating, and then my own team ends up attacking me, and they always go for you, mad salty bro. And then I like to when at that point we're already losing. Uh, I still play, you know, just I always try because you can make a comeback at any time. It only takes one good push to win a Dota. That's it. But then I get into these arguments with these dickhead trolls who think, ooh, someone's annoyed. Let me pull up my little fucking penis. And I always hit them with, why are you trying to get angry girlfriend attention from another man? And they're like, oh, you're so mad. I'm like, no, not at all. I just noticed a thing that you have done no research on. And I report motherfuckers. Like, I'll just go report all five of the enemy team if I find somebody scripting. Because you never know who it could be. It could be the guy that was zero and two that's map hacking that's telling everyone where to go. So then you'll report the guy who got a high score and he wasn't cheating. So then you don't report the zero and two guy and he gets away with it. So I just go report all five. You go to friends recently played with. Um, and just every single person you play Dota with is there. And you get one free Steam level report 
per account. And that's where I make my fucking money. You can report in game, but you only get so many of those. And if you catch it while it's running, you have a very high chance of catching them. Uh, I'll get usually one report back per game. And I have had where I report five guys and I got four reports back. So, I mean, just to give you an idea, I've been wrong. I know that sometimes you just, things just come together. That happens for us too, but very rarely. And they're like, well, they've been playing together for years. So have me and my friends. They're obsessed with Dota. So are we. Like every reason why they win, I go, we do that too. I, d I don't get it. Anyway, then these little dickhead trolls, they're just, it's a very childish thing. Like usually you grow up, there's bullying when you're like six. You get a little older, you should stop that behavior because that was at a point where bullying actually does have a function. This is the fucked up part. Bullying is supposed to be, we're very tribal animals. So in your little tribe, there might be someone who's weak. So you bully them and it makes them ferocious. And usually the toughest one ends up being the one most picked on. And during a time where the weak guy could end up getting everybody killed, that's an important thing. And I was bullied my whole life and I fucking hate it, but I realize it has a purpose. It also keeps you in line. So if you start wearing like purple unicorn outfits, your friends are going to kick the shit out of you until you stop. So these kids never, there are full blown fucking adults doing this shit. They never grew out of that childish fucking let's pick on somebody to make yourself feel better bullshit. I never pick on anybody unless they start, and I'll give them one free shot. And then after that, if they keep going, I'm in. I'm fucking in. Now, you'll say, well, isn't it childish to fight with these assholes and just, shouldn't you just let it go? And I go, you know what? No. Because I want to intellectually stampede them to the point where they're embarrassed and they fucking stop. And I'll do it every fucking day. Like, I'm one of those guys. You get me in for the fight, I'm fighting to the death. Now, all these kids that do this, they're generally younger, but not necessarily. They don't have a lifetime of experience to combat intelligence. They really don't. So there's a meta with uh, trolling. So it used to be like, you know, Sandy Vagina or, you know, all these different. Now it's you mad, salty, bro. There's a couple of new ones that pop up here and there. And they don't they don't say the word retard anymore. They don't say you're retarded. They make fun of autism. That's the same thing. Like, not the same thing, but you're picking on somebody for, you know, some kind of mental difference. And they're fine with that, which is completely weird. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's very easy to, to defeat them because I've got a Rolodex of counters for when they say they're not cheating and when they're trolling. So they'll say things like, you mad, bro? And I go, no, why do I have to be mad to run you over? And they'll go, yeah, you're mad. And I'm like, I think I can decide my emotional level. If I was mad, don't you think I would just be screaming expletives at you? I stick to the trolling. Like, I stick specifically to the issue. I don't get personal with them. If they're um, just defending cheating, I always come back to the cheating and they'll say, you're dumb. Blah, blah, blah. No. And I've sat there and argued with guys and they just give up because I've locked them down to the point where I have a counter and I really should post this online, a counter for every troll argument there is. And it's phenomenal. Like I've got a Rolodex full, and I've got like five comebacks for every one of their bullshit things to the point where, like I said, they just give up and I want them to understand now. If you're the type that's always bullied and you've never had your ass kicked, that's a perfect formula for trolls. That's what they do. When it was the 80s and two guys had a dispute, they would fight. And usually at that point, it would end. Like one guy would, even if you got your ass kicked, if you put up a good fight, the guy will go, shit, he's not an easy target. Because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for low-hanging fruit because they're cowards. Uh, they would never go up to a much bigger guy and fucking, you know, make fun of him. So it's it's childish behavior and it's complete cowardice to try to pick on somebody who is having a hard day. And every time they go, oh, I got you, I got you. And I'm like, no, you didn't get me. I was annoyed that we lost the game, but you personally, you're a piece of shit. Like, you're, and I always say something like this, it's like a turd making fun of a sunset. And I always say, I'm far smarter than you, kid. I'm going to run circles around you. And I'll, like I said, I'll they'll type one thing and I'll go boom, and I'll give them five lines. And then they'll try to come at me from another angle and they'll be passive aggressive and I'll call them out on that. Like, I, I know exactly what you're doing, kid. You're assuming I'm mad and you're trying to jump in on that to collect what? There's there's no, okay, you annoyed 10 guys today, high five, here's your fucking Porsche. There's nothing to gain from it. And I want them to know they're trying to, you know, basically, we could just simplify it, take your energy, like take your, you know, emotion. And it's very much how a girl uh, who is a girlfriend would argue with their guy. So I always point out you're being very feminine right now. This is not how dudes act. And that really hits them. Because dudes don't get, they, we just don't do that if you're raised properly and you have a fucking brain in your head. You don't 
try to little yappy dog at a big dog. That's not how it works. So it, it's typically the younger generation, but I've met guys that are like, so I'm 40. And I'm like, well, why are you acting like this? You should know better. Don't, don't, don't do that. You're only, someone eventually is going to grab you by the throat if you try that in real life. But I guarantee they would never do that to somebody face to face. It's, it's a, a weak psychology. Basically, it's someone who's unsatisfied with their life that the only way they can feel something is to make somebody else feel small. It's, it's a very uh, bad stereotype. And I often mock them for having very weak psychology. Like, I'm not offended that you said you mad, bro. I'm offended you think that works. Are you fucking kidding me? My mom has said worse. Like, are, like I've ta- like I'll, I'll literally say to them, you know, I've had tougher shits than you, kid. Like, grow up, join the real world, stop being a, you know, a stupid dickhead. So if you just weather the storm, they tend to blow it quick because there is a meta for, for, for scripting, or not for scripting, for uh, bullying. And the meta constantly changes. It's always what's more offensive now, and they'll just, they all say the same fucking things because it's, it's kind of like when a guy is a construction worker and he sees a girl walk by and he whistles at her, right? Because that's safe. It's not going to land you anything. And it's easy. Like, rather than meeting the girl and, you know, trying to actually talk to her and get to know her and, you know, because that takes real courage to do, it's the same thing with trolling. They have no real courage. They would never face you in hand-to-hand combat. I guarantee fucking T if I teleported any of these guys directly in front of you. I don't care if they're eight foot nine. Like, you won't do this because if you were that secure in your manhood, you wouldn't be doing this. So it's all these little skinny, effeminate, just douche turds. And the, I don't think they're, oh, they're probably 12 years old. They're, they're not 12 years old. Oh, that's another joke. They're like, oh, what are you, seven? Yeah, a seven-year-old's kicking your ass. Done? And I would say done with a question mark, and I wait. And they'll come up with another bullshit thing, and I'll go, yeah, that didn't work either. Keep throwing everything against the wall, nothing sticking. You done? And then they'll just keep, and I just keep laying into them until they give up. And the negative part of that is it annoys your teammates and it annoys the enemy team to the point where they'll all report you for calm abuse. So calm abuse is somebody who's just, you know, swearing, being disruptive, that kind of thing. And if if a bunch of people report you, the system just doesn't look at what happened. It just goes, oh, this guy got reported by five, so let's silence him or let's... And your player score will keep dropping. It starts at 10,000 and it keeps going down. I was down below 3,000 at one point that I wasn't even allowed to talk in game anymore. And my friends have been, you know, and they're right. They're like, Jamie, don't go hard. And I have been... Like, I was quiet for a really long time. I'm up to 8,000 now, which is pretty good. I'll be up to 10 pretty shortly. So now I'm not going as hard in the paint on guys because I know the longer you go for, the more the odds they'll report you. But everyone talks shit in Dota. So if you say a couple little things, no one's going to report you. And I've been, and I, my friends are like, don't, Jamie, don't, don't, don't. And then my score has gone up more now because I'm just not going that extra step. I embarrass them quick. I shut the fuck up and get out. So, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot of really weak males out there. And this is a problem in society right now and I'm going to go ahead and point the blame exactly where it is my generation because our generation you know weren't the richest you know most of us were just we never missed a meal but we didn't have a lot and then my generation raised those kids to be perfectly well I don't want to you know have it like my parents and my grandparents I want my kid to grow up you know well-adjusted give them everything never say no to them no discipline And they're just walking around the earth thinking they're fucking gods. And then they get into real life and they try that shit on somebody. And eventually somebody is going to fucking, you know, put a fist in your face because life's not like that. You can do it online because you're anonymous. And I can't, I want to teleport to their house and beat the shit out of them and say, don't you ever fucking do this again. Straighten up your fucking attitude or I will come back. Because I can't do that, then I've just got to embarrass them mentally. I've not found the only one guy that I ever did this to that I felt like, oh shit, he got me, was because he really wasn't taking any of the bait. Trolling is about bait. It's, they'll, they'll throw a little thing out there hoping you'll respond to it and hoping you'll be annoyed and then hoping they can, you know, laugh at you and all this other shit. That's not where power comes from, by the way. Power comes from being able to just weather the storm. I'll, I'll fight with a guy for an hour and then walk away. I, I'm not angry. I go, I fucking got him. Ha! And he'll be frustrated. And hopefully next time, when he decides to beak off, then he'll shut his fucking mouth. Now, if somebody has a real gripe, if I really fucked up, I will say I'm sorry. I fucked up. And when somebody apologizes, you're supposed to accept it. But online is different. There's no code. Uh, I could apologize, send him 10 bucks, promise I'll give him a kidney, and he's still like, you're a piece of shit because you, you missed that one kill. I fucking hate trolls, but... 
it also keeps me sharp because in the moment, if I get frustrated, it's hard, you know, it's very hard to stay logical. But if I stay logical, man, I come up with some pretty, I, I have a whole Rolodex full of hundreds of comebacks to all their bullshit. But on top of that, I'll just come up with shit on the spot that is completely unique to this one asshole. I mean, oh, I fucking hate trolls so much. It's, I'm surprised there's not more videos of somebody, and this has happened. There was two guys in, I think, in India that were arguing in in the CS:GO um, Counter Strike. It's a first, it's a first person shooter game where you have two squads and they fight it out, and and one guy was talking shit to the other, and then the other guy says, "Well, come find me," and he came, found him, and he had a gun and he killed him. I think more stories. I'm surprised this doesn't happen more often, but. This should be broadcast to everybody who's a gamer. It's like, before you start this game, watch this video. And understand, you just never know who you're fucking with on the other side. You don't know their power level. They may be the son of fucking Putin. And then he goes, hey, Dad, this guy's an asshole. Can we hack him? And can we find out where he lives and send him fucking a bomb or something? You just never know. You never fucking know who you're fucking with. But these kids, they just assume they're going to, like, literally raise their voice a millimeter. And you're going to go, oh, shit, shit, he talk loud. Um, a lot of this is typing, but I do find motherfuckers that start flapping their gums at me. And you should see what I do to them, man. I don't let them talk. I talk over them. And I have, like I said, hundred. And it's, I only normally do that if they attack my friends. If they attack me, I'll let it slide for a little bit, but I can handle myself. But if somebody attacks my friend, and I go, that wasn't his fault. And they'll just keep flapping their gums. I just fucking shred them top to the bottom, top to bottom, to the point where they just stop talking, and then they'll start talking to the enemy team. And I always say, why are you sucking the enemy team's dick? You know, I'm so fucking ferocious that you stopped talking and now you're just passive aggressively typing. Like this one kid, he was playing as Pudge and he, the guy in his lane left and that guy went up and killed a friend of mine. And my buddy was like, hey, can you just call missing? And then he started getting passive aggressive where every time somebody would walk off the screen for one second, he'd go, oh, look, Pot's missing. I'm like, don't do that. I know what you're doing. You're being passive aggressive. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you're being passive aggressive. That's what chicks do. Don't do that. And I'm just, it's not bad to be a chick, but if you're a dude, it is bad to be a chick. <laughs> so that's the that's the thing. You can call somebody something. It's not necessarily bad to be that thing, but for like an actual man who's supposed to have his shit together, yes, that's not good. So I just kept riding this guy just to the point I would talk over him. I'd give him no points and he would try to say, hey, you ever, and I go, you have no advice for me. I'm much older and smarter than you are. You have zero knowledge, zero strategies, you have no coping, you have nothing to offer, so keep your fucking mouth shut. There is no knowledge you're going to give me. Zero. And if he said something like, well, look, man, I'm sorry because my mom's got cancer and I'm real, I would actually say, I'm, if they say sorry and, and I can tell they mean it, I can't fight anymore. They, it pisses me off because I want to keep going until they fucking put a gun in their mouth. But if they actually apologize, which has happened, I'll go, just, man, just next time, just please don't do that. Like, that's it. That's all you got to do. Just please don't do that. And, and I even say to them, like, by me putting you in your fucking place, kid, I'm saving your life. Because the next time you try this in fucking person, somebody might jam a gun in your face. People have, and they go over a video game? Yes. People have died over literally nothing. I stepped on somebody's shoe and they shot me. Or I looked at a guy's girlfriend for half a second too long and he shot me. Or just anything. You can be killed over anything. And they go, well, it's just a game. It doesn't matter. Some people are having a bad day. And this is their only thing they can do for fun. And then you fucking trampled all over it with your cheats and your fucking hipsterism bullshit. And he just decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to teach somebody a lesson. And then bad things can happen. So you need to always, always be cognizant of that. Like, just be analytical because some, like, when you're playing Dota, right, and you pick a really strong carry what they're thinking of and what everybody thinks of is the best of that player they've ever seen. They go, Oh, we got a PA on the team. She's going to kill everybody. No, not necessarily. That person might be new or they might have a bad game or they just get unlucky. It happens. And then they'll automatically start going, Oh, you're zero and three is a PA. Oh, cause I'm a PA. I'm guaranteed kills, right? They never go what we, it's never what it's always what we did wrong. Never what the other enemy team has done. It's like, okay, if I die, you realize half of that's my fault and half of that's the enemy guy who killed me's fault. So if they're way better than we are, what do you want me to do? And they'll just keep shitting on you because they're they're weak. As soon as things go wrong and get a little hard, they go GG two minutes into the game and quit because, oh, I'm going to take my ball and go home because it's not all about me. 
Yeah, everybody who plays Dota literally thinks they're a fucking pro, and they all have some good advice, but they mostly don't. But they, they still say, well, you should have bought this item. And I go, oh, okay, if I bought that item, we'd be fucking winning right now, right? And that immediately stops the argument, because of course not. Maybe things would have gone a little differently, but if the enemy team is cheating and they're map hacking and are, have auto casting and all this shit, it, uh, we've beaten that before, but generally we don't. Because in in war, like I considered, you know, playing a sport, I'm not, I, I look at the person in the eyes and I go, okay, I'll play hard, but I'm not going to fucking run you over and hurt you because, you know, it's not worth it. Online, it's not like that. You know, feelings are nothing and they just will just smash you. They don't, just don't give a shit if you're sick, if you got cancer, if you're going through a hard time. They don't give a fuck. They're just the worst fucking humans on the planet. And it's a nuisance. And I know this is all very superficial shit. This is very, you know, compared to real life, is nothing at all. But online manners really do count for something. I've got some of the best fucking humans I've ever met are online in Dota. They're, they're such good people. They ask me, how am I doing? Hey, Jamie, did you find a job yet? Like, they're, they're literally, like, they actually give a shit. I've got some of them on my, on my um, Facebook list. I've had a few dip on me just because I get too into the everybody's cheating thing and everyone's fucking tired of hearing of it. But for the most part, man, really good friends. So that's that's almost a lesson for the internet because it contains the absolute worst. But if you hang in there, you can really find some solid humans. So to me, you take friends where you can get them because there's not a lot of friendship in life. Like most people only have a couple, like one best friend. I've got so many goddamn friends because I'm just, I'm easy to get along with and I like making sure everyone's having fun. But yeah, man, this fucking trolling shit, it, 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 it's almost a waste of time, but the satisfaction I get at the end of a bitch match makes me feel fucking great. And I know that person on the other end is punching their keyboard because they're so frustrated because I ran fucking circles around them. I've never had anybody intellectually come even fucking close, but they usually just start typing the same thing over and over again or just doing something really childish. I'm like, you're just spinning your tires in the mud. That's all you're doing. You're not helping. You're not giving somebody advice. You're not making the game better for the next game. You're not, you're, you're, you're a little frustrated kid and you decided to fucking cross your arms and pout out your little lip and I'm fine and I'm just gonna, meh. yeah, man, it's just, it's one of these things that, uh, you live in your mom's basement, uh, you probably don't have a job, what are you, seven, uh, neck beard, Cheeto dust, like, it's all the same, 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 it's like, I've heard this a thousand times, how many times have you heard somebody say to you, you're trying to get angry girlfriend attention from another man, why would you do that, so even my oft-repeated uh, comebacks, which I do use a lot of them, it's not like I'm the most original guy in the world, are still a thousand times better than salty you mad bro mad cuz bad fucking easy but yeah just it's embarrassing to me how stupid they are and the thing that like i said this is a great point it's not that they're just because i don't agree with you doesn't mean i'm stupid you know what i mean like these guys are so fucking narcissistic they think it's all about them and they thought oh i dropped the gym you mad bro oh watch this guys mic drop like no that's it's fucking, it's like sarcasm, okay? To me, sarcasm can be funny, but someone will put that on their Facebook, pro I'm sarcastic. You realize how weak sarcasm is? Anybody could say what you're saying. Like, sarcasm is not is not complex at all. So, these guys are sarcastic, and they really think they're getting something done. I'm like, that's all you got? A little sarcasm? It's like, I've, motherfucker, I've been punched in the face by bouncers. Do you really think that's going to bother me? But just the thought that they think it's working... That is what pisses me off. You think that little, tiny, shitty, just often copy, pasted, repeated, I've heard a hundred thousand times from a guy as dumb as you or dumber. You really think that got to me? They're like, oh, it's so got to you. I'm like, yeah, look, look at me. I'm just, oof. But yeah, I just, I need to do more videos. I just, I, I, I would like it. You know, we all want to make a difference. We all want to make things better. And if you're the type of guy that, like, my buddy, he has a funny-sounding voice, and people all, like, as soon as he starts fighting with them, they, oh, your voice sounds like what... And I've even had it. Like, I have a deep man's voice. They go, you sound fat. Like, I have a deep voice. Why does that mean I'm fat? Hmm. Or you sound like what... And I'm like, motherfucker, you've never heard a voice this deep. Literally. <laughs> 
Like you're you're a twenty two year old fucking pronoun using goddamn social justice warrior hipster fucking oh hipster's another thing I call them all the time because they really think they're too cool for the room. As soon as you think that you've lost, you're not too cool for the room. But yeah, I call them hipsters, scripsters a lot, and it works. But anyway, I just I wish there was some kind of way to get everybody to understand that don't fuck with somebody, just don't. You wouldn't do it in real life. Don't do it online. And I tend to not do things online that I wouldn't do in real life. But, you know, this this shit will eventually change. Like, the internet is still fairly new, if you really think about it. It hasn't been around that long. This is... It's it's still like the Wild West. It's, it's still very young. And if you want to go to a site where everyone can just sarcast each other and fucking hipster out, there are plenty of fucking forum pages you can go and do that. And... Believe it or not, by doing this, by arguing with these kids, it keeps me sharp. It gets my mind moving faster. Like I'll, it's a good thing to actually put somebody in their place like that. When I know I'm right and I know they're wrong, I will never fucking stop. It, uh, it mentally, it's like acrobatics. You start off, you can do a couple of handstands, big deal. But then eventually, you keep doing it, and you just sometimes all th- the shit I say, I'll go back to my friends. Like, did you guys find that funny when I? I said he's like a fucking, you know, whatever. And I, I've come up with some pretty funny shit. And they're like, Jesus Christ, you got him. I'm like, I know. As long as I stay calm. Like, if I get frustrated, it's not because of them. It's because of the game. Like, it's the situation. It's never them. But they assume it's them. Fucking small-minded motherfuckers. Anyway, stay safe out there.